uh, hi so today we will learn about the uh, like one more concept triggering suppose no oh. so trigger no what it will do so we can go to the application and we can do mouse over on the application so we can see there will be some main menus right so when you mouse over on it mouse over on it so we can see the uh, sub menus right so one second i will open the uh, google chrome browser So I'm opening the browser. So you can see my screen, right? Yeah. So uh, we'll take Amazon dot in. Amazon dot in. So this is my application now. See how the ticker will work. See. Now, so the application is launched. I will go here and uh, when I mouse over on this hello sign in or accounts no list, see automatically. When we do mouse over, no, see one more, um, like um, one more uh, a small screen, right? It's a kind of, it's not pop up, one more screen, I means sub menu screen it came. So we can say these are the sub menus or links we can say. Mm -hmm. uh, we can say this is main menu, this is sub menus. What are the, it's under this main menu, when we do mouse over, no? it has showed the sub menu screen, okay? So how through automation, no? So if we are uh, like this is a link, we can try to click it. But how to mouse over on it, we will learn now. Okay. We will learn trigger, trigger comes, trigger. cy.js file okay so to get the auto suggestions right we need to wait i press So, so when we have this first line of reference types equal to Cypress, auto suggestions will come. So based on that methods, we can uh, we can start writing the script. So if we are getting auto suggestions, it will be very easy for a, a person who are writing the script. No, we will get uh, he will you can see the methods and you can use of it. Okay, my test cases we will learn about triggering. Hmm? Trigger. Hmm. Trigger events, okay. Okay, this is my describe block test suit. Under this set, I'm like under this test suit, I'm writing the test cases, okay. Launch, launch your. See where not visit. So give the URL no. So this is the launch URL, right? When I copy and paste no, it will go HTTPS www.amazon.com. Okay, this is my launch URL. After launching it, we need to identify that element no. Mouse over on. Mouse over. Mouse over. Okay. 
No, no, this is it. It's not, no, it's element, right? Mouse over element. So we'll, we'll come here, no? It will automatically it will come. It will go over the element, okay? Control shift to see the shortcut key to open the F2 like developer tools, okay? So we'll come here, no? So we'll capture this element. Okay, see what is it is giving. Just I need to capture it. Don't click on it. Just to capture this one. So it is giving this container. So this is the one. This is the one. Complete the complete one. So this is the complete link. Okay. Complete link. So I will take navigation tools completely. So ID, hash, what is ID? Navigation tools, navigation tools. So this complete ID, space A. So see, see totally four elements are matching. Four elements are matching. So come here, here it is highlighting. Like, so this is the second element. Zero, so four elements. No, it starts with the zero index. This is the zero element. This is the first element. This is the second element. This is the third element. But I need to mouse over on the hello sign. You know, this is the zero first index. First index. Okay. So capture this element and get. Equation of one dot. So that element, no? equation of one dot trigger. So we are having the method trigger. See, I told you, no, these are the auto suggestions. When we use reference types, hmm? Cypress, no. So when we use this um, in the first line, no, this command, no. So automatically the suggestions will come. So with this help of suggestions, it is very easy to write the script. Okay, trigger, select trigger. When you click on double quotes now, so we'll, we'll get a lot of things. So now I will do mouse over. Mouse over. Mouse over. Okay. Okay, I'll launch the terminal. Open the Cypress. How to open the Cypress? NPX, Cypress, open. I can launch Cypress from this command. So trigger no, so launch this trigger. Application is launched. You observe right when we do mouse over no see automatically this element is open so if you want to click any any of this no you can click on it so it is very easy no see it got click see mouse over come here no that is a that is a call we got first call see trigger mouse over so it clicked on there after that the response no we got the response it should show here. See, this is the response. Also, get navigation. Ajax. So, this is the Ajax curve. Okay. So, automatically the mouse over is done. Okay. From this mouse over, now what we can do? So, click on the wish list. Okay. Click on the wish list. See. Hmm. Take this element. No, see class. We need to. I'm identifying this element. 
with the help of class okay dot control v this see how many elements are identifying hmm? totally 38 elements see in this 38 elements i need to work with i need to click on the, your wish list to hmm. Get. Click on your wish list. See, we don't get. dot contains dot click see it launched the url see if you want to click directly your wish list no it will not happen see so, you now we need to mouse over on it you need to find the limit so you are you are in the Hmm. Your wish list page, no? Understood, right? It's very easy. See, mouse over, no? And uh, mouse over, see. So, it clicked on the wish list. See, here it clicked and it navigated to this page. It came to page loaded. So, your list page, wish list page, okay? Got it, right? So we will try with uh, mouse down. What what happens? We will see. Even I'm trying now first time mouse down. Mm. Okay, now we will capture one element, and uh, it will be mouse down. Right? I don't know how to. Oh, okay, we will check now. How to mouse down, mouse up. I'll capture this element. I'll capture this element. To connect the charger. Okay. So I'm capturing this element. We'll see how we will work with the mouse down on mouse up. Okay. So I'm capturing this element. See, only one element is matching. No? Take this element. So it block. Test mouse down and mouse up. Okay. 
ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಡೌಟ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರಿಗರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಿಗರ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನು ಮೌಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಮೌಸ್ ಮೂ ಮೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಐ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೌಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಮೌಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ವೈ ಡಾಟ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಮಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ವೈ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೆಥ and after 2 seconds now we will see trigger mouse up what is up mouse up okay what will be the we will see here what will happen see in 3 okay so i am not calling the return function so we need to this is the return function okay so what we click on here see okay what happened see it came mouse down mouse down means so this element is aligned with down mouse up okay we will go here see where dot values instead of um, see where dot slash okay control slash to comment single line okay ಸಿ ವೈ ಡಾಟ್ ಪಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೌಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಮೌಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕರ್ದ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೋಡ್ ರೈಟ್ So this is the way we need to use mouse up on mouse down okay we will capture the element so we will use here mouse see we will observe now what is the difference here just it is capturing the element it is staying there you see it moves up no okay normally what will happen so once if you do mouse down you need to do mouse up otherwise the cuts are no it will be in the bottom side okay once if you do mouse up now we need to do mouse down so it's a yeah we need to do both okay so this is the way we need to use mouse over or we can mouse over on the uh, menu main menus and all so mouse down mouse up so when you are clicking no so, so, so mouse up mouse up 
mouse down no so always we need to use mouse down so i will tell you the example scene always so in previous projects we have used this one mouse down so mouse up so mouse up so so i will tell you this example when we are working with the uh, installed applications so for our application installed application what what was there no? here so here we are we used to see sign in sign in tab comes here okay here so normally application no, it will come here but it, i would see the installed application right uh, it's a normal example i am telling you okay so here it will sign up so at that time no mouse see the pointer no mouse it is not identifying the elements it is identifying in the ui the page but uh, what happens now when it comes here no so this bar is not identifying for that now what we need to do we need to work with the trigger events so for the first time now what we'll do cursor no this cursor this uh, pointer no we will do mouse down so it will come here and it will uh, focus here and then we'll click on sign in then mouse will be here only so the focus will be here only then we again we need to do mouse up so this is one real time scenario so uh, when you do mouse down we need to do mouse up mandatory otherwise the cursor will be down only so that is the case okay